for Resistance Rewriting Part 2. This is what's ahead. Those exercises you're going to find are the meat of the whole thing. They not only develop the muscles and the coordination, but they just give this rider the chance to truly go ahead and achieve and set up a program to where they just get the maximum out of their riding. Whether you're a world-class rider, a novice, whatever level you're at here, you're going to find that these exercises are going to be the real meat and <laughs> potatoes of your program. Being able to work over poles, obstacles, again, just help really refine that feel. You're going to see not only the rider set up different obstacles here, working from one to two to three to four poles, but you're just going to see how this will maximize, you know, your riding efforts here in part two. Boy, the leg and hand position here in part two are just critical for the lead changes, turnarounds, and what have you. You're going to find out just how to really develop that real feel through those hands and the legs, upper body position. Uh, that communication on these real special, difficult areas is where the refinement is going to be fun to watch here in Resistance Free Riding Part 2. You know, if you've had a little bit of problem with your rhythm and your feel on your horse, get ready because right here you're going to develop that to such a refinement that not only you and your horse are going to start moving together immediately, but just by practicing and working on some of the things that we've done here, uh, things like lead changes are going to be smoother and easier because you're going to be in the proper position. You know, whether you're riding English or Western, you've just got to have that harmony with your horse. When that unity starts flowing together, that's when good things really start to happen. You've got to have position and communication. Turnarounds are easy. You can do this with feel if you're sitting correctly using your hands and legs again. Even in our English riding, in our haunch turns, that correct use of the legs just opens so many doors for us. And that's what we're going to be working on. Stops, when it's wrong, not only does that horse get stiff, you might, you know, really be experiencing that right now. We're going to go over and over that hand and leg position, make those stops smooth and balanced, develop a quiet rider out of you. Part one, without question, just showed us how important that it is for us to be prepared mentally, to have our attitude right, to have us just being able to focus on how our horse is working and how we and our horse are working together. In this resistance free riding too, let me tell you what, get ready for some in-depth approach to this. You're going to just see how important that attitude and, and mental preparation really is. And your confidence as a rider is just going to really start to boom.